Yo, it's your boy DC True from DC True Dance Nation.com. We'll be covering hoops and heroes. And today we're talking hoops. DeMar DeRozan is on the trading block. There's a lot of rumors swirling, guys. And I think that's a horrible idea to trade DeMar DeRozan. And I'm going to tell you why. But before I jump too deep into it, if you like my content, please sub to the channel. Okay, like I said before, these are rumors and they're not even like well backed up rumors like on ESPN. Not saying they're credible, but you get what I'm trying to say. But it's still rumors in the Spurs Nation. And I wanted to kind of address it because I think it's a bad idea to think about even trading DeMar. Now, DeMar DeRozan is an all-star talent. He's not a Kawhi superstar type talent. He did kind of not show up in Game 7 versus the Denver Nuggets. So fans are going to have this knee-jerk reaction. Hey, we need to trade him. We need to deal him. You know, his contract situation is a little weird because he can leave next summer. So that's something the Spurs probably want to keep an eye on because if he does leave and you get nothing in return, that's going to suck. So they need to really, really make a decision. You know, they don't necessarily have to do it in the summer, but they need to make a decision, you know, probably by the trade deadline, what they're going to do with him. But with that said, I got three reasons why you should not trade DeMar DeRozan. And the number one reason why you shouldn't is, are you going to get an all-star in return, a superstar in return? You're probably going to get a lot of draft picks, some young pieces. And, and it's just in the West, Western Conference, you need talent. You need bona fide talent. The Spurs are already behind the curve when it comes to talent. And you're going to give away your best player. You know that's still in his prime you know don't get me wrong he still can improve you know second year in the Spurs system you know he had a career high in assists he's still averaging over 20 points a game defensively he is not doing very well but the Spurs have put defensive players around this guy to kind of make up for that so you know if you trade him you're not gonna get the same type of talent in return you kind of setting yourself back the second reason why you should um, not trade DeMar DeRozan is the Spurs do not get free agents. Free agents screw the Spurs over constantly, constantly. You know, think about the Marcus Morris incident. You know, that was just out of left field. Hey, I agree to, you know, 10 million a year. Oh, I'm going to the Knicks. Wow, you picked the Knicks over the Spurs for, you know, for a little bit more money, but it wasn't really that lucrative of a deal. For you to kind of renege on the spurs and no one ever comes to the spurs the only free agent they you know they usually get are role players or the type of free agents they get is role players and then the big signing uh lamarcus aldridge and even lamarcus people forget this like two years later wanted the trade so i don't know what's going on with spur player relations but no one wants to come here and the final reason i think you don't trade demar DeRozan is you know this is only going to be his second year in the Spurs system and he's only 29 years old. OK, so you got a 29 year old all star that averages around 22 points per game, six rebounds, six assists. And he's coming into the second year of, you know, a new system, you know, being traded, getting over all that, you know, he deserves an opportunity to you know, advance himself to become better. And the Spurs, you, you're really not going to find anybody that's a veteran that can take his place like seamlessly. You're not going to find that. You're going to find a, a pet project that could work out, couldn't work out. Now, don't get me wrong. This is very dependent on the development of Lonnie Walker, Murray, White. If they just lights out as a trio, then, of course, DeMar probably becomes a little bit more expendable. But to trade him now just for, you know, peanuts, that's just that's that, that's not smart, especially in the Western Conference, where it takes a tremendous amount of talent and execution to compete. You know, he's a he's a good piece. He's not the piece, but he's a really good piece. Also, don't get me wrong. There is a ton of factors that go into this. This isn't an easy decision. You know, it depends on how much Demar wants to get paid. You know, does he want a max extension? Is he worth a max extension? And I'm not sure he is. So that could be a factor. So don't get me wrong. I'm not criticizing RC or Pop if that, you know, that's the decision they come to because I kind of see, you know, the risk and reward factor when it comes to DeMar DeRozan. 
personally though, if I'm a fan, you know, I'm on the outside looking in, I'm not, you know, rejoicing trying to get rid of a talent like DeMar DeRozan because I know the return factor is not gonna be the same. I know we struggle in free agency. You get what I'm saying? And we haven't really seen his full potential in my opinion. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Trying to extend the videos a little bit. I keep them short and sweet, but I try to extend this one a little bit. I hope y'all noticed. For more information on hoops, check out the main page, dctrue-nation.com. Like us on Facebook. Don't forget to hit that sub button. Help a brother out. Peace.